Hello everyone, the weather forecaster has promised us a very pleasant day for football and that's exactly what we've got. My name is Derek Ray, excited to be bringing you match commentary and alongside me, my broadcasting partner, Stuart Robson. And on Christmas Day, our gift to you is what we hope will be a top quality football match. Stuart, how do you see this one going? Yeah, that's all right, Derek, but where's my gift from you? Well, sorry, Stuart, there are those who think my middle name is Ebenezer. That's about right, but as a football fan, I love these festive fixtures. It's a great buzz around the ground. And this is how the hosts will begin the game today. Well, on paper, they look a very balanced team. But the three advanced midfielders must at times make runs beyond the centre forward. Otherwise, they might just lack a bit of penetration. And this is the initial 11 for the visitors today. Well, the shape is the same, but they may play it in a slightly different way. And key to this game will be the fullbacks. Do they tuck in alongside their centre halves or look to support their wingers? I hope it's the latter. And so the match is underway. How can he take them on and beat them? Well, showing excellent judgment to intercept. looking position you've got to say well, quite simply the cross was too close to the keeper well you never quite know who's going to emerge from the shadows and become a match winner but this man might be a decent shout what are you expecting to see from him Stuart well he's their top marksman but he's also a great all-round player he just has that ability to go past defenders with such ease Hopefully we see that again today. It might be on for them. And will they be able to play it in behind the defence? And crossed in there. Well, the danger is still there. Well, on the final analysis, his timing just wasn't there. Well, it's always difficult to hit those perfectly. And unfortunately for him, he got that all wrong. Good-looking sequence. The end product just wasn't there. Ogbeche. Looking for that final pass, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Not quite the accuracy he was looking for. That'll be a goal kick. <laughs> Unable to keep the ball. It is a decent looking attack here. 
Could be troublesome. Pulls it back. Intercepting it intelligently. Well, the referee allowing advantage to accrue to them. Adidai. Effort from long distance. Tremendous block. Ogbeche. Working away patiently, looking for an opening. Interception to snuff out the danger. Could cross it in here. And far from the ideal cross. Keeper's ball all the way. Ogbeche in a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here and a good looking ball well he stumped it out of there without much fuss Adidai going well And that pass could be troublesome. And thwarting his opponent in the nick of time. Now the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. Well, probably a fair assessment of his first half's work would be a mixed bag. Well, he struggled to have any real impact on the game. I think if they are to kick on in the second half, it's key that he sees a bit more of the ball. And hopefully with that, he can start to put that back line under a bit more pressure. Underway then in the second half. And the two teams matching each other just about stride for stride. Well, can they open up the defence here? It needs an accurate cross. Well, he gave it quite the whack, but not on target. High quality defending. Well, he went strongly into the challenge, and the result is a throw in. Space and time for the cross. Are they going to forge ahead? And thumped away. Creative look about this. Must take the lead here. He knew he had to make the tackle and did. And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. Still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead, but not forcing it. He has time to play it over. Well, doing the job defensively that time. Couldn't be comfortable in bringing that ball down. Ogbeche. 
Well, the counter chance looks very real. Well, they seem to be onto something positive, but it faded away. Adidai. Well, offside anyway, albeit a tight one. And time for the change now. Well, they must exercise caution standing off as they are. It's opening up for them. A quarter of an hour remaining here. It might be on for them. But nothing comes of it. The referee's letting it go as they keep the ball. And the cross is very much on. And not the best clearance. Oh, moving it nicely. Big chance. Well, flinging himself at it. Well, this forthcoming corner might just do it. Could be their last chance to hit the front in the dying moments. Well, it was apparently a bookable offence. Well, no debate over that one. It's a yellow card all day long. And time for the change now. And over comes the corner. A very effective clearance. Good bit of pressing. This might be ideal for the counter. And they need to get tighter. There wasn't much in that offside decision. Could have been in business. And the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time. On the attack, is there to be late drama? And a chance to whip it in here. It has to be! And a goal! This is why we adore this game. Late drama, and now they're in front. Well, here's the replay, and you see it was a good finish. But the keeper at his near post has to do a lot better. He's got to have that near post covered for me. And there goes the final whistle, and the home fans are going to be happy about this outcome. Yes, Derek, there wasn't much in it, to be honest. Really competitive game with chances at both ends, but they probably just about edged it overall and deserved the result in the end. But it just seems of this game, he's ahead of his opponents in every way, Stuart. Well, I thought he had a good all-round performance today, only emphasised by the late winner. An extremely important moment, and boy, did he deliver.